so of course you know I want answers too but you know sometimes it feels like it's never existed you know yeah. always wonder about that but I mean it never existed so what do you have to wonder if it never existed you know plus I have no access to my father's side so it's kind of you know what is it he got caught in a whirlpool. Mm-hmm. You know, I always wondered, what if, you know, he's still alive? He just, you know, kind of found a way to, to leave my mom, you know, kind of those things. You know, what if he's still alive? Kids always wonder if their parents are still alive, you know. You know, I always wonder that. saying again about the first time you went to Russian River? First time I went to Russian River was last year on a camping trip. Actually, I've been to the Russian River uh, with our family, but I never went out. You know, they always went fishing. I always stayed in the motorhome, but I never got out. So that was actually the first time I actually went to the river. And it was kind of freaky because, you know, I was telling them, I was like, this is where my dad died. This is the, the you know, this is the river and all that stuff. So um, I kept thinking to myself, I wonder if this is the place where they went fishing, if this is the area, you know. Um, maybe, you know, this is where my dad was standing, kind of those kind of things. I wonder where they were, you know. I wonder how it happened, you know, looking at it and just wondering, you know, all that kind of questions. I'm trying to picture it in my head. But that was my first time. It was kind of weird, you know. Did you cry? No, I didn't. You know, like, it's just been such a long time. The only time I cried, oh, the tearing up is when I watched your video. And I was like, oh, this is so sad. And then when you said that little part at the end, oh, well, I'll go to the first, like, sweet, she said, I was like, oh, that's so sad. But, I, you know, I don't cry about it anymore, you know. Yeah. I mean, why should I? If The thing about it is if I knew him, I probably would cry, you know. Knowing somebody's different. When you know somebody and you love that person, you know, then when they pass away, you know, something, part of you goes. But for me, I, like, you never knew the person. Too bad I didn't have a father, but I don't know the guy. I didn't know who he was, you know. Yeah, this is the uh, Russian River. Right now it's uh, low, very low, and there's uh, thousands and thousands of fish coming up this stream around uh, June. June 15 is the opening of the first run, and thousands of salmon coming up in here. Uh, we will be going down streams, and uh, Go down there where we had that fishing hole in there. Okay, mm-hmm. let's go down there. And then you go home and you smoke it. Uh, if you got plenty enough, send it to your relatives. Because <laughs> you get tired of eating salmon fish, 
You want to uh, share it to the people that you know. I do my I own, do my smoking, own smoking now too, myself. I don't put much salt. It's a little bit blunt, but it's good for people that uh, have high blood pressure. I tends to get blamed because I invite him to go fishing with me. I feel bad because, uh, you know, I, for some reason I said, well, if he didn't come with me, come with me. Yeah, but, I, but, you know, you don't know what accident is. I almost say I'm responsible for it. I try to help him. Or if I know that he's going to be in trouble, I'm going to help him. But, you know, that's not much I can do. Yeah. Because uh, nobody wants to have an accident. No. It's just it happened. So you you introduce him to Auntie Bonnie. And she he fall in love with Bunny. Did she uh, fall in love with him too? Well, you know, it's a mutual because Bunny is already older. Yeah. Yeah. Bunny needs somebody. <laughs> So as Dodo did somebody, it's like like a, a, a fruit that is ripened already, yeah. overripe. <laughs> <laughs> they better pick somebody. Or... Yeah, you're ready to pick. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's what it is. Uh, the chemistry is already there. Right. Yeah. Wow. So, so how long uh, were they dating till they got married? Yeah, not even a month. Oh yeah. Yeah, not even a month. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, they clicked together. Yeah. Yeah. When they got married, um, how long after was Teresa born? Uh, well, uh, yeah, well, you have to look at it. Uh, I think Teresa was m was made within a month. <laughs> <laughs> so it is, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> <laughs> it was made within a month. So. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Uh, when uh, a woman is ready to conceive, is ready to conceive. Okay, today is February 24th, 11.25 a.m. Um, Irwin Lopez, student at Columbia College uh, for documentary production. Uh, I know what I'm doing now. Uh, I was watching the footage last night from Teresa's Place, and it's going to be a documentary about her mom, Auntie Bonnie, and her two children, Teresa Sedano and Henry Sin. Uh, what the premise is, is, of course, two different fathers, two different situations. Uh, Henry Sin's dad left, and uh, Henry was abandoned, I guess you can say that, and... He, he grew up without a father, and Teresa's, Teresa's father died when she was only three months. And w what struck me last night was watching the tapes. Is, uh, while, while I was talking to uh, Teresa, she was telling me, I was asking her uh, stuff about her, her brother, Henry Sin, about how when his father left when he was young, you know, he grew up with a father, and when he came here to Alaska, years later, many years later, after his service in the Army, or doing his service in the Army, he found out information that his father was still alive in Portland. So he contacted him, he, he flew down to Portland, and he was living in Portland at the time. That's right, right, Tom? And then um, he went there looking for answers, you know, to try to find out about his past, you know. Why did you leave me? Uh, um, why didn't you tell mom you were married, so on, so on and so forth. And Teresa was telling me that she wished she could do the same thing, but but her situation, her father missing, presumed dead, she would like to find answers as well, but, you know, like she said on a tape last night that she was running into a dead end. So what I'm going to be doing now is uh, try to find out as much information as I can on, um, you know, on her father. And which is why I'm going to talk to Uncle Fernando, which is the last guy he was with uh, when the accident happened at Russian River. And um, 
wasn't efficient. So I'm gonna call him now. Hey, uncle. Uh, what are you doing today? I'm doing a documentary on Teresa's dad. Yeah. Just uh, because you know him more than anybody. So I'll see you tonight at 6 o'clock. Okay. It's a date. Bye-bye.